Hello, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of Grayscale. I have 11 by 14 inch canvas paper, which is just a, it's 143 pound or something like that weight paper, so it's pretty durable stuff. Um, it has a tooth to it, a graininess to it. It looks like a burlap sack. All right, you'll see it once the, gl uh, the glycerin get, uh, is put on here. <coughs> We're gonna um, talk about the color green, why not? There's many different ways to mix green. All right. Um, I'll show you a few ways you can mix uh, up the color green. And what I have here, you, you can probably barely see it, but it'd be a row of bunch of bushes and maybe a deciduous tree placed right here. Okay. Um, I got one more color to, to get out here. Um, and that will be black, which is not technically a color, but you know. For all intents and purposes for this lesson, uh, we'll call it a color. I don't need too much of it, just a little spot or two. Okay, all right. Um, the colors I do have represented is black, titanium, white, sap, green, cat, yellow, and some uh, phthalo blue. I think I might even put a wee bit of this uh, cad red down in here, um, just to put it down here, okay. So I got it over here in the corner, just a little bit of it. All right, we'll move right along here. And the first thing I'm gonna do, obviously, is put on the uh, glycerin, okay? It helps the paint move around, keeps the paint slick for a minute or two, and uh, helps in blending, all that good stuff. Um, I had a pretty good chunk of it on my brush, and I'm just spreading it around on this paper, real thin all over the place, over the pencil lines, it doesn't matter just like that just move it around and like I say it's for the initial blending and then I just thin it all out here just like that okay it might get tacky or whatever as time goes on it depends on the warmth or the coolness of your room that's about all I need of that all right we'll work on uh, the sky as of right now okay and what I'll do is I'll take a smallest amount of titanium white the smallest amount I'll show you on a camera that box that much to take here there you go you see it there look it's the black that much and I'm just gonna put that right around here in the bottom where the trees are just some brightness right there that's about it okie dokie I'm gonna take some of this phthalo blue I'm gonna go from the top be a traditional type of coloring scheme where it's dark on the top gets a little bit lighter on the bottom that type of thing so I'm gonna take some phthalo blue extremely dark blue all right I'm gonna just go up here on the top and I'll just put it right here on the top I guess I got plenty of glycerin on here so it might kind of melt away a little bit well it not really melt it will um, kind of ooze a bit but I'm going right into the white with it as you can see it's getting lighter and lighter and lighter okay I'll try to get it pretty smooth just like that I wanted a little deeper up up top up there so I'm getting a little more phthalo I'm really deep in that deep in that blue up there I'll drag some of it down maybe even kind of like that a little bit then I just kind of smooth it on out like this and it goes back in it mixes in with the white it becomes lighter again on your screen it might look pretty smooth but it's not this still streaks showing okay I'm gonna go backwards I'm gonna go from the light into the dark so I'm gonna just take my brush my little mop brush here and I'm gonna just smooth it out even the part that's gonna be covered with bushes and stuff that's okay smooth it out anyway because you kind of um, you know you, you kind of don't know where everything's gonna lead so I'm mixing in I'm just rubbing in where the white is just to get it lighter and as I rub it in in circles I keep moving I don't stay in one spot okay white circles here very light very light don't press as I go into the dark I won't go back into the light I have to wipe the brush off okay but I don't think I need to I think what I have here is perfectly fine I'll go back and forth a little bit on the top there and basically I just want to get rid of the uh, streaks okay very 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 simple type of a uh, sky there don't need nothing too outrageous because I really don't want the sky to be the focal point so we'll keep it somewhat like that okay I'll uh, spin it around in that white a little bit more it's like that 
I'm just wiping off the brush as I do it. <clears throat> just like that, just rub it around. All right, that's enough playing around with this. I'm just rubbing the paint right off of the uh, mop brush here. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, it's nothing actually but a Walmart makeup brush. Very soft bristles, natural hair. Okay, so that's done. We're gonna get to uh, blocking in some shapes right now. All right, um, I'm not really a big fan of using uh, black, as you may have heard me say numerous times. Uh, but for this, I'll I'll do it. Okay, and I'm gonna do it another way also. I'm gonna get some interesting patterns by using um, a sponge. <clears throat> As a matter of fact, well, no, I'll use this. On one half, I'll use a sponge. On the other half, I'll use a crinkled piece of paper. Literally, a crumpled piece of paper towel. All right, okay. Um, y you essentially don't know where I'm going with this, so what I'll do just pretty quickly here. I'll do a minute little sketch. Um, the bushes themselves will be like around in here. So you guys can see this now. This something like that. Okay, really light. I'm gonna just put it in there. And then we got another row of bushes. Oh, it comes up like that. Comes down like that. It goes around. Comes around. All right. And then we got like a little path or something, a little road. It comes like this way okay and then we got the other road which curves a little more there's a hill here um like a slight hill but it comes around the corner and it gets wider going out that way now you should be able to see that quite well okay all right now that you know where we're going okay it's time to put in let me just use this sponge here you can see it in the light see the interesting texture and the bumps and whatnot Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit of black. I need a pretty solid color. Um, well, I'm gonna call it color. Okay, I'm gonna tap a little bit on. I don't have to mash it in there, just a little bit in there. Okay, and you don't have to, like I say, you don't have to mash it. The sponge is pretty dry. Okay, so I gotta get a pretty firm grip on it. Now, you see the outline I'm done. I gotta go past the outline a little bit, but that's okay. Just like that. See this? See that? interesting little shapes here and there have some come out catch some of that sky interesting and convincing paper towel okay it's not even a clean paper towel you're looking for interesting shapes just to give the illusion of, of bushes and, and whatnot. Okay, so I just take paper towel and just crumple it up like this. Nothing special. You take a paper towel, crumple it. Okay, all right. And here we go. Crumple piece of tape, towel and some ink or some paint. I'll put them out of the hand here. Okay, and all you do is just tap away. Okay, you're gonna get a funny look because of the glycerin that's on the blue, but it's okay. And so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just take it right here on this hill, and I'll just wipe some of this black like that. Just form the hill a little bit, just with the black, why not? It's all gonna be different types of green anyway. So, as you see how the paint moves around with the glycerin, okay, just like that, bring it right on down. No specific rhyme or reason or fashion, just put it on down there. It turns an interesting gray, if it looks like, okay, but that's it. Take your towel, throw it in the trash. That's all we need right now, all right, okay. Let's get... I'll get a three-quarter inch flat. I'll show you what it looks like. One of these guys. I'm going to make a nice gray roll right there or something like that. So I'm getting some white, titanium white. Uh, one dab of, of, of black in that titanium white. Okay. 
I'm just moving it around here and there. And I'll just put it right on in there like that. Just move the paint around. Remember, there's glycerin all down in here. All right. We just wipe it in there. It's all right. Put it right in there. See? Just like so. Got a nice little gray roll. We're going to mess with that too. Because you know, as in with perspective, things get kind of dark near, near you. And it lightens up as you go up the road there. Okay. So I'm just tightening up the road a little bit. Just like that. It's all moving around and slick and all that good stuff. Just like so. Okay. There. So it's something pretty interesting for beginners to, to learn and have fun with. Okay. And that's basically what I'm doing. I'm going to get a touch more black. I'm going to play while I'm in here. A little bit of white. And what I'm going to do while the paint's still kind of wet and, and, and all that, let's add a little, little bit of shade right in here like that. Okay, I'll do it again right around in here like that. And I'll go a little lighter. A little lighter. A little lighter. Just like that. Okay. All right. We'll leave it, leave it just like that for a second. Only for a second. You'll see you see my, the method of my madness. Oh, we're going to take one of these again. This one's a little wet, but it's okay. We're going to get... Okay, let me show you something first. Up into the blue, look. I'm going to tilt it. There you go. That's the shape of this thing. You're only using... You're only using that. That's going to touch your canvas and move around, all right? Like that. All the rest is just there. And very lightly, the three hairs and some air deal... Okay, we're gonna go in a circular motion. Remember this paint's still slick, it got the glycerin on it. Going into the dark, smoothing out those lines. Going into the dark, into the dark. If you get a little bit onto your little grass area, don't fret, don't worry, don't panic. That's all right, it's gonna turn green anyway. So it's not gonna matter. But I'm just getting rid of some of those lines in there. See, you smooth it right out. Okay, very light touch. Circular motions don't stay in one spot too long because if you do you're just you're gonna burn a hole right through the paint To the color you're, you're gonna rub a, a patch in the paint is what I'm saying Okay And so I'm just rubbing it right on in there. It's a little dark there. It gets a little lighter and all of that good stuff. All right, okay All right, then Now that we kind of established that a wee bit you're gonna to get to the roundness of your brush of your of your bushes here. Okay, I got a a little glob of glycerin paint right up in there. That I gotta move that around a little bit. Get get that going there. Move that around just a tad there. A little correction up in here is a little glob there. I'm gonna just pat that glob away. All right. Now a lot of this is starting to dry already. Okay. Like I say. Pretty much a plain Jane sky, nothing special, no clouds in there, not nada. All right, everything, all the attention is going to be somewhat down in here. Okay, and plus we're going to put a little something, something over here. Okay, all right. Now, let's commence to the greens. Okay. On my um, palette here, I got cad red, sap green, cad yellow, and... Um, Thalo blue. The cad yellow and thalo blue will make green. We know that. But do you know black and yellow makes green? Yes, it does. All right. So we'll we'll use a mix of some of those colors. Okay, but we'll start off, I guess, with the regular um, cad color, cad green. Now. As far as your bushes are concerned, you want a nice interesting look to your bushes. I'm going to take this um, number one crew cut cheapy um, brush. It's a, one of those wood brushes that you buy at the local big box dollar store. You, they come in a plastic uh, bag. You get like 20 of them for $5. Well, this is one of those. I just gave it a crew cut as you can see. All right. I'm going to use. Now this is the this is the base, the, the first color layer. Okay, and I'm just going to use the front tip of that. We'll start on this bush over here. I'm going to bring the camera a little closer so you guys can see what on earth am I talking about. 
So we'll just send that, put that bush right in there like that. All right, there you go. Okay. Now, it's up to you where you want the main highlight or whatever. Um, like I say, up to you. We're not going to get rid of all that black, though. You kind of need that. But we're going to just give it a slight touch, just like this. And we're going to round it off in spots, just like that. The green's pretty, fairly dark, you know. And that's okay. We're not going to get rid of that blue, like I said. And we're going to put interesting pockets of green in this, just like so. All right. You can probably barely not see it because... Um, the green is so closely um, in tone in shade to the black but it is definitely there okay and remember as acrylic paint dries okay remember as acrylic dries it sets in you follow me so like I said you're not getting rid of all of that dark okay that's your first set it's pretty thick on there right now okay so we'll let that set for a second Let's go on to the one next door. The guy across the street here. We'll work with him. He's a bigger fella. So we'll draw the camera out just a little bit. There. And maybe we'll raise him up a little. Yeah. Draw him out a little bit more. There. Okay, you guys should be able to see that pretty well. Once again, I will use this this green. Sap sap green. Just Regular sap green, nothing special added to it or whatnot. And we're going to establish our base color. And as I'm doing that, once again, I'm not going to get rid of, yeah, I'll use my other hand. I'm not going to get rid of all of that, um, all of that dark, but we're going to establish a pretty interesting, a pretty interesting uh, line of color for this guy. Even though you barely see it, you got to still give the appearance of it being rounded out. All right, I don't want to get rid of all that blue you see peeking through there either. Okay, and some of that black that's left behind will look like and imitate branches. Okay, so like I say, I'm bending my wrist as I do this. I'm not going to pounce terribly hard on this because you got the paint's pretty thick. I work with a uh, Grumbacher paint, which is fairly thick stuff. All right, and all it takes is a nice couple taps like so. Okay, and that's all I'm doing is really is just tapping the color on there. Bring it right down there by that road. All right, down by the road, it's going to be particularly dark. Okay, no sunlight going down there. Okay, but just like so. All right, okay. Let's go back across the street. Let that tack up and do whatever it's going to do. Let's go back around here to this, this fella here. All right, we're going to zoom in a little bit. We're going to go to layer number two with this guy. We'll bring him. He's a shorter, shorter one. So we'll bring him in here like that. All right, I don't know if that's focused in very well. So we'll come back out a little bit, bring him back in focus a little bit. So hopefully he's not too blurry. All right, now that we've established the uh, regular sap green, okay, I'm gonna clean off the brush. We're gonna use phthalo blue and cad yellow for the second set of green. Doesn't necessarily have to be a 50-50 mix, but we're gonna get a lighter patch of green I'm going a little bit of phthalo into this green okay now it makes it a little brighter I'm gonna add a little more yellow because so, we got to distinguish from one one uh, patch of green from the other I got to get a little bit more because I'm gonna probably use them on both you establish yourself where you want your, your highlights but we're gonna do the second batch of green right up in here just like that okay now you can see there's a difference there. Come up, out and around like that. Especially when it gets to the dark. You see that? All right. And I'm just doing interesting little circle, circular patterns in here. Just to add a little bit of a body to this fella. I'm gonna bring some of that down here. Not necessarily down to the bottom as much, but it's starting to fill out different colors of green. Okay. We'll go back over here to big guy. We'll keep them like right around in that area there. I'm getting a little more of this color. Don't have to press as hard. And we're going to go to the tops. And I guess the, well, yeah, the light source is probably going to come from over here. Maybe. Like I say, maybe. We'll put a little bit up there. We'll toy around with some of it around here. So we'll kind of highlight the back end of this guy a little bit. We'll bring some of that coming down like that. Okay, I'm getting a little more CAD yellow. 
slight touch of a uh, the phthalo blue slight touch because like, we want this a little bit lighter i didn't add any medium to this so it's still a uh, pretty thick paint so you really don't have to beat it up to death okay and some of it just takes a little little dot okay but we're adding interesting little patterns here going in a circular motion just like that bring some out there we'll bring a couple out here I'll, I'm gonna turn this bring this camera down but you see how the interesting patterns and the shapes you're getting okay now around here it's not really gonna be as bright because it's in front of the bigger bush okay but we'll establish some true colors and highlights um, very very shortly okay we'll still keep it fairly dark down there okay let's go back across the toward the bottom <clears throat> now I'm gonna use a little bit of well a lot of bit of yellow hold on let me get some more yellow going I know I got some more here I'm gonna get some more yellow so I'm getting into my yellow I'm dipping into my yellow right now okay I'm gonna go into my black that's right you heard me jet black and I'm giving it a nice twirl of paint here there we go I'm getting some more yellow the reason why I'm getting more yellow is because I gotta add just a touch more black just get a little more of the of this um, type of color okay this brings it to a deep gray green this is good for stuff on the bottom okay so now we'll take some of this bland green okay and we're gonna put some of that there down on the bottom here right down here on the bottom remember this stuff gets pretty flat so we're gonna put it in little crevices here and there but it's good for the stuff on the bottom down there okay just like that let's go another side you don't necessarily have to use this brand of brush we're gonna just start from the bottom first get some more of this color and right now I'm just doing thick paint on top of thick paint on top of thick paint but it's not all in the same spot okay and remember this stuff kind of um when it dries it gets darker okay but we'll put some of that down up in here like that get some up there put some maybe right here in the middle I'm just actually picking and choosing my dark spots where to put this stuff okay and still you're gonna go in a kind of a semi-circular fashion okay just like that sometimes I like to give it a quick little push like that in different directions and we'll tap it in there just like that so you got all sorts of interesting things happening and yet you're not you losing all of the black and you see I didn't put it nowhere up there you know let it let it come down here this bush is more in shadow all right you're gonna see in the highlights all right enough of that for that bush you know what while we're doing this hold on for a second let's get some more black I'm putting it right in there in this green I'm gonna get some more yellow still black and yellow okay really deep now this is a, a deep gray green right here okay I'm still using the same brush deep grayish green here let's go down here let's establish that guy let's establish that mound right there okay and what we're gonna do you use the side of the brush Cad red. I'm gonna go right to its color opposite, which is the green. Okay, I'm gonna stir it around a little bit. And all it's gonna do is give me a deeper, uh, a deeper green. Don't use so much red. Use use more green than the red. Okay. And all you're gonna get is a, a very deep, it's like a brownish color. All right. And I'm gonna go right down here, like some little dark bushes right up in there. Just like that just like so okay pop a couple of you in there let's go down below here right down below you can use some of this dark stuff okay right down in here all up in here just tap it in there like that remember this color sets so it's gonna even appear darker 
put it right where you see some of the from the black in there. Just a little, little shades and hints of it here and there. Okay, just in little little pockets in there like that. This will all make sense. I promise it will make sense. I know a little bit of what I'm talking about. I promise. All right, let's go down here. Down here on this edge here, where it should be a little, 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 little dark down in there like that. And we'll pop some of that right in there, just like that. And make it a hill shape. Okay, give it a little roundness there, just like that. See, see where that, where that tip is, where it bends? That's where you go like that, go a little higher up in there. There, give it that little roundness on there. See the little curve there? All of that helps. I promise it does. It helps. Go with the flow to the hill. All right. Just cleaning off the brush real quick. All right. So let's pull this camera back a wee bit. So you guys can totally see what's going on here. You see that? You see how you just establish a bunch of bushes? And now I want to show you something very interesting. You see how your road isn't as dark anymore? Do you know why? It's because you got one, a deeper palette of color that's surrounding the road. Now the road is not as dark anymore. You, f you follow me? Okay. So what does that mean? That means that this road has to and you have to step it up a notch you get that darkness you keep the light all right you see it's still wet because you see my fingerprints okay but you know that that none of that matters you just wipe it right off like this even with your finger the paint moves around see you got the little fingerprints there all right so you think it's dry it's not dry okay um but you see how you can get rid of it all right i did that action on purpose to show you okay how you can move this stuff around don't panic all right now that I've established that. All right, the road has to be a little darker, okay? And probably a little darker on the right-hand side. And as it gets darker, you know, get the little darker curve here, all right? But we still gotta have a little darkness here to show that you're closer here and, you know, got the light coming from a little further away down the, down the way there. Okay, but we'll work with that. Let's play around with this patch of uh, grass here. Now, I've already gave you three different mixes. I gave you regular sap green. I gave you phthalo blue and yellow for a green. I gave you black and yellow for a green. And then I mixed um, green with a little bit of red to give us that, that, that brownish, reddish little tint there in the, in the grass. Okay, all of that helps. Now here comes the fun part, sweetheart. Let me get my uh, large palette knife and let me clean some of this uh, mess I've created for myself here. I'm just taking the paint right now. I'm wiping it on my old rag here. Just getting getting rid of the getting rid of the paint because I really don't need much of this anymore. I don't believe. So I'm just cleaning off the palette a little bit. Good. All right, we're gonna get some brighter. Um, highlight color i don't want to use white why don't you want to use white because then it start look like snow and i don't want snow all right so i'm getting yellow i am going to mix titanium white with the yellow because you need something for this paint to stick to you follow me okay now i can approach this also two different ways i can use a thin paint for this a thin paint will stick to a thick paint okay now i can highlight this with um, a little tinge of green and the yellow and which is what I'm doing right now. I'm using sap green and uh, a whole lot of yellow. So let's let's do this for a highlight right now. I'm getting a bunch of it on my bristles. Now, when you do the highlights, you don't need as much, but you're gonna have to recognize the shape of your bushes. We'll pull in a little bit. We we'll go to bush number one up here. Okay, this guy. Now your highlights aren't necessarily gonna be all down below here. Okay, that's a little bit out of focus. I should put it on manual focus or automatic focus. Let's go back a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I'm in focus now. All right. We know the sunlight's coming in that direction. So we're going to aim a lot of this. Just like this. Now make it circular like that. You're going to do another one right here. Make it circular just like that. Come down. You can come down and bring it like right around in there. I'm just getting some more color. Cause this is thick paint on top of thick paint right now. I'm not thinning it. And that's all um, 
sap green and cad yellow right up here yeah, let that sunlight hit it especially up around here let make it a little thick here okay and then you just thin it down coming around the corner there like that have a little pop of something a little pop of something right up in there like that it's kind of hitting something there okay just like so and have it travel around here on the corner that's probably about all you need really I'll, I, I'll give a little hint of something a little hint of something right in there like that that's it leave it be that's all you need all right all right let's go over here to this big guy now remember where the light source is okay I'm getting some more yellow let's mix again with the green the sap green thick paint on top of thick paint right now got it right on the edge of the bristles here all right just like so all right and now right on that rim right here right up in there just like that and leave it alone there that's where it's hitting do it here a little bit in here but most of it is out here just like that and you got another one hanging around out there and one more probably hanging around maybe coming down up in here a little bit like that and then you got another one right here on the outside just like this and it may be out in that rim out there a little bit like that okay you don't really have too much going on in here you know some of it's probably trying to escape and give it a little peek here and there but that's about it just like it, that's just like that all the rest is fairly dark in there okay you might have a little something dangling all all up in there but it's not really it's not really being seen on this side of the bush so that side of the bush is fairly kind of deep in there all right okay believe me this stuff works I, honest i wouldn't lie to you it, it really works okay let's go uh down here a little bit remember uh let's see what are i gonna what, what are i gonna do with this i guess oh no i'll still use this I'm going to add a slight touch of white to this yellow white mix just to bleach it out a little bit. Well, actually I use the uh the flat brush. Okay. Let's use a let's use another brush. I don't I don't need this color and now I'm about to take it off cuz I only use another brush. I already showed you two bushes with the same brush, the 1 inch um angled brush here. Okay. Well, we'll go to our friend the um flat the fan brush this guy okay there you guys should be able to see it from right here i'm gonna put it in the dark right there this fella okay now you're able to do it a little easier because of the curve of the fan brush you turn around you got a little curve here you know okay i'm gonna mix obviously some more yellow what little bit of yellow i do have uh slight 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 touch of the uh sap green a little touch of white and now i'm going into my glycerin i'm gonna loosen up this paint okay just get the paint a little bit loose here now up to you this brush has a little bit of thickness to it all right put it back okay so you can either use the top of the brush or you can use the side of the brush i prefer well especially around the edge i'll use the side i give it a little press boom like that and you're gonna you're gonna continue almost like an overlap and but you're gonna continue that right down here just like that and you give it a little soft pat you want to kind of soften some of that and we're gonna continue that roll just like that continue just like so you see that continue it going down the hill all right just like so the some of the paint's gonna roll off and come off and it's gonna get darker i'm flipping the brush around because i want a little stronger highlight in certain some certain spots there and i'm just pressing it on in there it's okay turn it around angle it around you still still talking hill here okay I'll pat some of that in there soften some of those edges in there just pat it in there you still got your texture so don't worry about that okay like so okay let's get a little phthalo blue since i somehow spilled it all on my little self i don't know how i did that i'm putting phthalo blue in here i'm mixing it in with the yellow the light color that i had so i'm making a nice little dark patch here of blue it's a greenish blue 
Okay, like so. There. Let's play. In the dark areas, so we're going to give a couple playful little taps. Just a couple. Just like that. Just not much. Just a couple of them in there. Some little shadow play in there. Okay. It's up around in there. Look at that. And we'll play around it. Especially coming toward down here. Down here is where you kind of really need it. Just up in here here a little bit we're gonna strengthen some of that we have it come around the corner and get a little a little deeper in here you see how you can just play around the, top, the topography of the uh, the hill topography the landmass the shapes okay that's all we're doing but look at that you see how that wakes everything up let's get a little dark around that corner there like that all right see how you get to play all right very interesting yes you still got your darks under there on lying on the leaf all right okay let's play with us a slightest slightest and i do mean slightest touch of red okay into that that green that we just did that bluish green okay now we got a deeper a deeper color of um uh, of uh, this reddish or uh, green it's like a real it's a deep like a purple green all right, and we're gonna put some of that down on the bottom here. Just here, right on the absolute rim there. Okay, and we're gonna take that side of that brush and we're gonna darken up a few spots there. Just underneath the darker green. Okay, don't be putting it on just anywhere. Put some of this dark underneath the darker green in there. Okay, just like that. A little bit of that in there. Let's go on the other side. We still got some, got some more right here. See that little line of that's glowing there? Nah, we're gonna get rid of that glow. Put that green in there. Put it in there. Go ahead. It's all right. Put it right on in there, just like so. Put it in there, just like that. And you can bring some of it up. Okay. Just like that. Just to darken that little path right there. You gotta get a little, little, little deep on on, on it there. Okay. Just like that. All right, and all I did was take a couple brushes and go pat, 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 and there you go. All right, but see how well a paper towel does? Paper towel on one side, sponge on the other side. All right, then a fan brush. Okay, nothing but a whole bunch of different color greens. All right, you even made a brown and put it in there because it had a green in it. We call that sienna. Okay, all right. Let's go down here for a second. We'll play with that a little while. So we'll let that green tack up a wee bit, okay? I'm just cleaning off my friend here, Mr. Fan Brush. Okay, I don't really have to rake it across the uh, gr um, the rack I got down there, but sometimes it's just like force of habit. All right, let's put this guy down here. Now I see how I got that blue on my hands. Now I see how I got it. I just did it. I just felt it, all right. I was reaching for the uh, brush. I, when I reached for the palette knife, my sleeve and my arm got across that blue paint. So it was just strategically there at the wrong time, right place. Okay, I said that backwards, but that's all right. Okay, let's continue right along. We're gonna deal with this gray. Okay. And would you believe, I believe I ran out of black, but that's okay. I'll get some more, just a little dot more. I didn't think I would need that much, but I, apparently I did. So I'm just getting a slight drip. That's all I need of black. I don't need too much of this stuff. Um, while the paint's somewhat still kind of wet, all right, let's do this too. I'll show you a little, little something. Okay, a palette knife, you get a little sharp in there, a little point right there in that palette knife. We can come here and we can, if it's a, uh, wet enough we'll pop some little sticky things in there if if it works sometimes it, it does work sometimes it don't it depends on how dry the the paint is I'll come up here some of it might work some of it might not and i don't feel it's working it might might be a little too dry let's go over here on the corner to see if we get yeah we can get away with a few of them here okay we work some up in there like that some little so-called sticks we'll put some a little higher up in there going crooked like some, some little 
things going on in there. Now this pen can, this paper rather, can take a little bit of, of a whooping, which is why I'm doing what I'm doing. Okay. But uh, some of the other paint tacked up, so we might have to use just a little white for some of branches or whatnot. But there's some little thingies in there, cutesy little things in there. Don't have to be too blatant, but you can see here. All right. All this helps. All this adds. All right. Okay. Let's stop dilly dallying around and let's get to some business. I'm going back into my medium with the one inch brush. Don't need much. And we're going to just slick this right back up again. You don't need much of this stuff because you're just going to do a little bit of fading and, and whatnot. So we'll just slick it up a little bit. That's all. And if, if it might be even too much, and if it is, you know, we got ways around that too. But it might be, it might be a little much. I'm just wiping off the brush here. I'm going to wipe some of that off. Just like that. Just wipe a little bit off. And if you feel it's still too much, you just take a towel and just wipe the thing like this. Wipe it right off. If you feel it's too much, wipe it. There. Okay. There we go. Wipe it right off. Okay. There. Okay. That's enough of that. Let's play. It's time to play. Let's go back to my three quarter. And I'll use this guy. Why not? It's a one inch flat brush. Don't have to be really specific, too special with it. Going back into my titanium white. I'll wipe some titanium white down. A little touch of, of that black. A little more black. There, there we go. <laughs> we use this. All right, right here down in the corner. Get that slight little bulge like that. Get that little bulge shape right there. Um, maybe a little more of a bulge like that. Okay, see that? Yeah, darken it right up. As we go further down, you're going to lighten that. Lighten it, lighten it. There you go. Much like that. Okay. Just keep lightening the thing. Just keep going light with it. See that little thing I just put right there? All right. That's what the finger is for. Just get rid of it. Okay. All right. You lighten it up a little bit. Just like that. All right. You can have this shadow go as far forward as you would like. It don't matter. Okay, if you, as long as you, you're satisfied with um, the shade of it and where it's going, you know, you're good as gold. Up to you. Put a deeper shadow right here on this part. A little, little, little depth right in there. Okay, and put a little finger and get that out of there like that. Just like so. Use some of that on the sides. Yeah, get some, get some dark on that side a little bit like that. Okay, I can wipe off the rest. That I can get rid of like that. That's no big deal. Let's clean off this brush. I don't need this brush anymore. Okay, now we're going to play. Remember that paint is still wet. Okay. This is how you learn to manipulate your paint. Do all that, that fun stuff. Let's go over here. Let's, let's round some of that out. Let's, let's fade some of that. Okay. We'll fade some of that. We'll come on around like this. Go in circles, fade it, fade it, fade it a little bit. All you're using is a few hairs. Okay, very lightly, very lightly. See that? Light. Hashtag light. All right, just like that. Put it right in there. Just like so. Okay, make it nice and smooth in there. Bring some of that dark up in there, like that. I'm gonna go around the other side, do it like this. And go across. Okay. Just like that. All right. See? Very smooth, very smooth, very smooth. It can be even darker. You don't believe me? Watch. No, no, I'm doing nothing but straight black right here. It's just straight black. Right around, right across there. But see, as I'm using the black, the more you use it, put a curve in there though. See how you, the more you use it, the more gray it's getting. Okay. And since I'm only using a mop brush for it, just lighten up the pressure. Lighten up the pressure. Keep going back and forth. Lighten up the pressure though. Just like that. Keep that dark in there. Let's get some more black. Tease some more. Right up here in this corner. Get a little more black. Right up in here. Corner's got to be a little dark right up in there. Just like that. Bring it on around. Bring it on around. And we'll just flick some of that out that way. 
right into the right into the road throw it in the street <laughs> throw it in the street and you come on around with it follow the path okay don't worry we can pat some of that away I don't got a little too much let me get the water we can make that disappear don't worry that's gonna go that's gonna go bye bye just like that we'll make that go bye bye like that see everything can be correctable okay now let's get that out of there like that everything's correctable lighten that back up and now we're gonna go right back across go lightly go across that's all right go across see bring it on across see you can correct that okay nothing's written in stone everything can be corrected you follow me go back okay now let's go up there you go all right see that everything can be fixed don't panic all right i feel like doing a little more playing let's get some uh let's get some uh white and let's get a little sap green in that white just like that we're gonna do a little cut across here we're gonna do the famous bob ross cut across <laughs> i like that i don't want them to be too blatant like that so we'll put a couple of just like that not too much of a highlight okay so we'll we'll mellow some of those out there okay all right so we got a little bit of that happening okay i'm gonna get some a little bit of tap uh, a little bit of, of the sap green and i'm gonna come around some of these just to darken that I got like a little misty thing happening that I'm not really too appreciative of. That was my bad. I'll pat some of that down. There. Not too many of those. A quick wipe of the brush. That was a little, little segue. Okay. Enough of that. Let's go back into our slash midnight greenish. And we're going to go across the street over here. We'll add a few. Just a few in here. Okay. Just a few. Yeah, kind of, kind of on the dark side. So I'll add a wee touch of white into it, just a little bit. We'll lighten a few of them up. Just a, whoa, just a touch. Okay. I'll put one up in here like, like that, a little longer. And we'll put a couple of them singing around here like that. Okay. That I don't like. I'm gonna scrape that away. Yeah, it kind of matches in with everything else. Kind of narrow some of that down too, like that. But you know, you put a couple little things in there. But since this one is kind of um, on the lit side, I can get away with a few of the white ones. Uh, put some tall ones up in there, like going that high, just like that. There's a few of them in there. You scrape off a few, scrape away a few. Maybe pop one in there one in there Maybe something a little bit in there get rid of that one just like that get, get rid of that just totally get rid of it they yeah, don't like that one. and we'll do another one there more like that now when you get something like that okay and you can just get a little black and you can darken up some of those woods like that so don't don't fret don't worry don't panic i think we're good here I think we're good around here too. We're good. 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 All right. If it's a little too out there for you, you know, you just tap it in a little bit. Okay. That's all. Uh, let's see what else I can add with this. If they're a little too dark, I'll just put a little, little green in there with it. Just a little bit right around the sides here. Give it a little green there. If they're too too dark, put a little put a little bit of green in there, lighten them up a little bit. Just little subtle things, okay. But you know they're in there, like that. Cover some of that up with green there, just like that, okay. All right, enough of that. Okay, so we got ourselves a very fast, quick, green, uh, really greeny path here. Um, just things happening and going around all over the place in this 
Okay, you got a little little light at the end of the, of the road over there. Uh, some light cloud that's going up into the dark, like so. Okay, you would see more of an effect if I sh if I shut the light off. You'll see more of a drastic change. Okay. See how much see how how much different color makes or a light makes. Okay, now that that kind of sets everything sets everything back in there a little bit. All right. So it's all it's all good, man. So let's put the light back on for both of these guys. There we go. All right. So we got a few of these uh little doodad things established already. Okay. Now I have um is this one yeah this one's probably for acrylic i got one of these things uh let's use i got three different sizes so i might as well just show them to you why not they're here and i never showed anybody these yet i don't believe i don't think i did anyway it's called a funny brush all right you can you can order them okay funny brush you got three different sizes of these guys okay i'll put it here in the black there three different sizes okay so i guess i'll use use well, one of these i use a small one here and they're good for you putting on putting um fruit on trees little berries or whatever you you know whatever you they, you know call yourself to, to use them for all right i'm gonna just dip the in it's nothing but a bunch of rubber bands tight together with probably another rubber band okay and so I'm just putting it right into the uh, putting it right into the paint, no thinner or anything. Okay, and these brushes they're they're kind of like well, well funny. You got little, I don't know, but we're gonna put some uh, some little red things up in here. We just plop them in there like that. Can you guys see that? No, too far away. Let's zoom in so you guys see what I'm doing here. There. So we're doing this on the tree across the street here. And we could put a couple of these bright sticking out little things in here. Just just like that here and there. Up there. But let's put a couple down here. Probably down by the ground here. We'll put them trailing downward like that. Okay. Out of focus. There. Okay. I'm going to put the manual focus back. Or the automatic focus back on. I'll put some way up here like that. So I'm coming kind of close toward there. We'll even plop a few red in. <sighs> there. We'll plop a few red in here. All right. Just a couple patches. Maybe right in there. Okay. So this is what the funny brush should do for you. Okay. Let's get some more. I'm putting it right in. Nothing but the paint. No thinner. No nothing. Just paint. Let's go over here. This ought to be real interesting because it's kind of dark over here okay so we'll put maybe a couple hiding in there like that it's pretty dark in here uh, we'll put some right here right by us down there like that and maybe a few little ones by the road here just like that down there by the road no more than that that's fine all right let's rinse off mr funny okay get the paint off funny brush you might have to rinse it off pretty good a few times I guess they do nothing but like rubber bands all scrunched together. Okay, and just blot it dry. All right, I'm gonna take some blue, since I got it on here. And I'm gonna mix it blue in with a little bit of this titanium white. So I got a bunch of blue on here. There you go, okay. I'm gonna open up the funny brush a little bit, split them up, okay. Let's do some blue. Oh go over here first let's put some bluebells and we'll pop some bluebells in here just like that okay and we'll put some down the hill here some a little closer and we're to us press some more down here i know i'm just barely into the uh barely into the, the camera view here but we'll see we gotta pop a couple right up in there just like that coming off the page like that okay if you want you can put a few and we'll put a few little bright boys up in there too, like that. Maybe even way up here. Okay. Really, really, really pretty. Let's go across the street. Let's get a little bit more of this. Um, 
blue mixed with the white. We'll put a couple down here. See, we can put a couple of these down below. Just like that. Bunch them up. Okay. Don't streak them across. Just, just give them a couple, a couple little dots. Uh, we'll put a few of them up in here. Now, this blue will match a little bit better in the shaded areas like that. Put some coming off camera or off the uh, paper here. Mm, maybe a couple of splotches right there. Not too much. Put maybe one hiding, group of them hiding up there like that off camera. I know I'm doing it off camera. Okay. I'll let you see it though. Just that little splot right up in there. And we'll, actually, we'll just get rid of that because I don't like the way it looked. Boom. Just like that. Okay. Just like so. All right. Let's go back. Okay. Just like that. Now, we got a little of that stuff happening. I'm going to just clean off this Mr. Funny brush here. It's actually the first time I've ever used it. Okay. All right. You can actually make your own. I got two sets of these. One for oil, one for acrylic. All right. So we got some of that established somewhat, all right? I'm gonna take a little bit of blue, all right? A little tiny bit of red, make a maroon, okay? And I'm gonna take some, I'll take water this time. I'm gonna take some water, I'll loosen it up a little bit. What am I gonna do with this? Well, we'll bring some things across the street here like that. And we'll roll it around. Little, little shadows here and there, just like that. Just roll stuff around. Go around across the street with it. And it comes this way, little whatever. Just around in here, little, little shadows and whatnot. Oh, curve it around. All right, you can kind of darken up this here a little bit, scrumble some of that dark in there. And we'll go on around like that. Just little branches. Whatever that might be hanging around out there. Okay, darken that up a little bit down in there. Scrumble some of that in there like that. All right, we can smooth all that out too. Okay, that can still be kind of smoothed out. Rub it in there, just like that. Rub some of that in there. Just like that. Hey guys, um, uh, okay, um, Alright, I'm going to uh, finish up on this here. Um, at the time of this recording, um, of me making this recording, uh, I have a lifelong friend that um, passed away. And uh, you guys are going to see this way, way, way ahead of time. Um, or way past the time that... Um, uh, this is actually being recorded, but I caught the I got the news. That's why <clears throat> there's a lot of jump cuts in this because I had got the information and um, it's kind of jarring. But I'm like at the tail end of this here, um, so uh, I'm gonna finish finish the rest of this off here. Okay. All right. Okay, right around here, down here. Down here, we're gonna put some tall, some little details of tall grass and stuff like that. Just wing those around like that. Just different areas here. You know, patch here, a little, little bit there. All right, it's a script liner brush. And you know, you, you, you get your, get it full of paint there. Try not to be too over overly heavy handed. Have some go, well, <laughs> not that far come out toward the road a little bit. I'm gonna get a little more water. Cause the paint's, uh, paint's still a little, a little thick. And I hope I got my um, audio on. I don't know if I shut it down or not. Yeah, it's still on. Okay, and we'll continue on a few, like I said, a few little light, light things going on there. If it appears to be too bright, um, it will, it will settle down in there a little bit. And I'm just doing a, a quick few here. Okay. Some bigger ones up here. There we go. 
bring some of the other way put some off the panel here going across like that I'm gonna do a few on the other side too I don't know if you guys can see it. yeah uh, yeah you guys, you guys can see a little bit of this of it there bring a few cross it over there like that okay I'm gonna get some uh, white paint here roll it around the whole brush and I'm gonna sign off here like I said you guys will see this way past the uh, the time of the news that I had got this but um, I do hope that this little tutorial helps you helps you out I'm kind of miscombobulated right now uh, one. okay and it's there we go all right so this is got like a little bit of perspective in it it's got different oops different varieties of green I'm gonna peel, uh, pan back a little bit okay there we go pan back a, a wee bit take this tape off too I like the clear tape because it gives me such a crisp edge okay let me adjust this a little bit like that let me put the other light on here so you guys can shed some light on the subject a little bit here okay and uh, we'll peel this right off just like so like I say I like a very crisp edge which is why I got the uh, tape on there we go try to get all this tape off in one swipe here there we go like I say I really prefer the tape because of the super crisp edge it gives um, forgive my head I know it would be in the way there you go there you have it guys all right <clears throat> um, the greens that were involved was a uh, sap green then it was a uh, yellow and sap green then it was yellow and and um, thedo blue then it was uh, sap green with some cat red then it was black with some yellow for a green then I used red and blue for some of the dark that you see in it okay so that's basically they were bushes but they bushes turned into trees but it's all it's all good um same pretty much the same difference okay um i was gonna put bushes they end up being trees <laughs> so um with the tree caps uh the, the, the tree tops there everything's kind of lit on on the other side because the sun's coming this way the way i had it anyway but um very minimal sky action because all the attention is going to go right here and toward the road and everything like I say it's like a little bit of perspective and and all that that good stuff you got a lot of greens subdued in there different colors different tones and um, patterns of greens you know all that good stuff so yes yeah, my monitor here on the side where you guys are looking at me or um I'm actually looking at myself looking at you know the painting but um well this is it okay um so uh i hope this helped you out and um i was more than glad to do it and i'll see you when i see you